Chances are you've already seen my Surron range test where we took the stock Surron battery out to the Hollywood sign. And in that video, I promised that I would repeat the same exact ride with the new upgraded 72 volt battery. So that is exactly what we're gonna do today. And as glamorous as these shots look, rest assured it is hot up here and I'm filming on top of hot trash so it does not smell so good. In the last video, range was the big concern. Made it back here with 14% remaining on the battery. But in this video, there's actually two different concerns I have with the new upgraded battery. And now with over 2,700 watt hours of energy on tap, let me give you a hint range is not one of them. And last time there was a lot of people who talked about how loud the bike was. So this time I tightened up the chain and lubricated it. Seriously, dude, this is super fresh. It's pretty hot out there today. So we will bring a LaCroix. Just to let you guys see, we are on a full charge. Well, I thought I had the chain all cleaned up and nice. It is clean, but it's a little bit loose. Dang it, I thought I had it just right. So once again, we will be taking the Bayona Creek bike path and I do have two concerns. It's not range this time. Dude, this power, this battery is so powerful. It can just so easily pop the front end off the ground. This battery upgrade basically doubled my power from about 6,000 watts to about 12,000 watts. Now with the increased power, the first major concern I have is running 12,000 watts of power through that primary belt, I'm worried that it could snap and break. Eventually I will need to replace that, but as of right now, I'm just gonna hope it doesn't break. Now the other major concern with this battery, oh yeah, is uh, since it can pull so much more power, that means it will heat up the motor more as well. So this is gonna be especially true when we get over by the Hollywood side and start climbing that really steep elevation. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the motor temperature because this battery can overheat the motor and completely fry it. Dude, this guy's got all the decorations. I wonder where he purchased that bicycle from. All right, we are rolling up to the first place we took a measurement last time. That's right, your boy did his research. So we're gonna pull up the stats here. So right now we are at 94% battery, which comes out to 81.9 volts. Tabbing on over here, we are 5.8 miles into the trip. It took us 17 minutes and nine seconds of ride time to get here. And yes, I did some screenshots here. So last time, five miles into the ride, at this exact same point, we were at 90% battery. So now 94%. I pulled this clip from our previous trip out to the Hollywood sign on the stock 60 volt battery. And from this, we can actually see the 72 volt battery has got us to the same exact location about a minute and 10 seconds faster while also consuming about half as much battery life. So let's get on to the sketchy part of this ride, riding in traffic. Dude, I did not notice these like little ramp things here last time I was here. All right, let's not get distracted. Let's keep on going. Uh, that's questionable. Uh, they want to know about the Saran. Who doesn't? So one thing about the 72 volt battery is this thing can definitely cruise at much higher speeds. Let's give it a little juice. I still have not hit top speed on this bike. I will be doing a top speed on this bike at some point. Today is not the day. Check my channel for other videos about that. No through traffic. I don't know who that signs for. Not the Sir Ron. We can just step right around it and hop the curb on the way out. Why not? I feel a lot more comfortable cruising at high speed now going with traffic on the 72 volt battery. It can just do it so much easier. One thing that I'm not comfortable with on this bike is the stopping power. I'm still on the stock brakes. I do have upgraded Shimano pads, but it's just not enough. So I'm looking into a few brake upgrades. We're about to pass under Interstate 10. Last time I made a joke about getting on the 405 or the 10. I might actually do that though, for real with this bike, with the new battery. Off in the distance there, you can just barely see the Hollywood sign. It's our first glimpses. We should be over there in no time. So the other thing on this range test that I'm really excited to see is how this battery starts to perform as the voltage falls. Everybody knows the 72 volt battery is just killer when it's fully charged. But on my previous battery, the stock 60 volt battery, once it started wearing down, once it got down to like 50% battery life or so, 
It really, this is just like a free for all here. What is going on? Once the battery got down to like 50% or so, it really was just not very fun to ride anymore. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? Last time I came over here, I like rode on the sidewalk. I was really just trying to save battery life. This time we're doing wheelies on the street instead. So last time I was doing this ride, I mentioned uh, changing up like your riding position every now and then for like increased comfort on the seat. Some people are saying, you know, if the seat is that uncomfortable, then, you know, the bike probably sucks. I think a big problem of that is I ride this thing like every single day, but I do have an additional tip for you for riding comfort on this bike. And that is actually wearing, oh, whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> LA is so interesting. So for longer rides, now what I like to do is wear bicycle riding shorts and or these skivvies motorcycle riding shorts. Both of them are great. Uh, they do have cushion in different places a little bit and it makes for a more plush ride for sure. Gotta love the Sir Run. Now we can very clearly see the Hollywood sign here. Wow, these guys have some nice bicycles back there. So we'll get a little range update here in this exact same spot as last time. Uh, this is like basically the beginning of the serious part of the hill climb here. So we're three miles away from the Hollywood sign, but it's going to be 1,100 feet of elevation gain in that next three miles. Tabbing on over to the next photo here. I took my screenshot last time. We are at 67% battery at this point in the trip. Today on the 72 volt battery, we are at 79% battery, 79.8 volts. We are... 49 minutes of ride time in with an average speed of 18 miles an hour. Distance covered is 14.6 miles. Comparing the data from the old 60 volt battery versus the new 72 volt battery on the right, it becomes very apparent at this point that the new battery is performing much better. We can see that we got to the same exact location about 15 minutes faster, which is about a 25% increase in speed. And the new battery has significantly more battery life left. But now let's see how the new battery handles the hill climb to the Hollywood sign. Starting this hill climb out with 54C, 54 Celsius on the battery. The next range update will be right in front of the Hollywood sign after this pretty substantial hill climb. Of course, the Chai 72 volt is absolutely just dominating this hill. Just cruising up. This is, you know, relatively steep. Doing 20 miles an hour, absolutely no problem at all. I love the chill vibes out here in the shade. Feels so nice cruising through these trees. There's really not a lot of trees in LA and this is one of the few areas it, it feels like relatively lush right here in this one particular section. This is a really, really steep hill here. 72 volt chai battery is just eating it for breakfast. Griffith Park again, off in the distance. Horrendous views of downtown today. The smog is uh, terrible. Dude, this house is freaking beautiful. Look at the views these people have. And there is the Hollywood sign. We're getting closer and closer. Oh look, the gate's wide open today. I'm just gonna bust right on through here. Nice. We'll get a range update here in just one minute. We'll check the motor temperature as well. Dude, it is so hot out here. All right, so motor temperature 56 Celsius. So yeah, no problem at all climbing that hill, just kind of cruising. And it took 58 minutes of ride time. It's 138. I only kind of stopped a few times along the way. Average speed 17.66 miles per hour. Distance is 16.45 miles. And we have 73% remaining on the battery, which is 78.4 volts. Our efficiency has dropped to 51 watt hours per mile climbing that hill. Geez, you gotta really be careful not to lose control of your bike over here. My goodness, this is like a straight up cliff over here. All right, we're gonna stop messing around over here and head up to the top of the Hollywood sign, see what our range is when we get to the top. So as I was making my final stretch up to the top of the Hollywood sign, I realized I have a ton of extra battery remaining. So I started to think about other places we could go on this ride. <laughs> here we are. And this time we'll have actually quite a bit more range so we could probably get out and explore a little bit more. Ow. 
hurt my hand. So once again, here we are at the top of the Hollywood sign. You can see it right down there. Not exactly like a beautiful view of the Hollywood sign, but it's kind of cool being up here like on top of the world, so to speak. Checking out the stats here, we have 73% battery remaining on the Chai 72 volt, 38 amp hour battery. Voltage is 77.7. Tabbing back over here to the Strava app, it took us one hour and nine minutes of riding time. Spent quite a bit of time dilly-dallying down in front of the Hollywood sign, making wheelies and stuff, doing wheelies. So uh, it's 2.14 p.m. Average speed to get here, 17.07 miles an hour, 18 miles to get here. Looking at the original stats, 60 volt battery was at 44% when we got here. So that is a huge increase, 44% uh, and 58.4 volts on the old battery. So now 73 volts or 73% remaining on the Chai battery. So that is huge. Like. Basically, you know, when I got up here with 44% doing the same exact ride on the stock battery, it was basically like, you know, I'm looking to find a place to stop and charge the battery on the way home or just go straight home, you know, basically take it super easy. So I know a lot of people buy the 72 volt battery for increased speed. However, you do get increased range on this battery as well. As long as you're not going crazy and just using all that power all the time, you're definitely gonna get increased range on the Chai 72 volt, 38 amp hour battery. Anyway, we have a ton of battery left. So let's ride on over there to Griffith Park Observatory. You can probably just barely see it off in the distance there. It's like a pretty cool little spot. So we're gonna go over there since we have so much extra range today. I really wish I could get the progressive regen throttle on this bike. I don't know how to hook that up. If anybody knows how I could hook that up to the Emoto Bros BAC 4000, that'd be awesome. So I honestly don't know if I wanna ride over here just because uh, it's a dirt path. This bike is just gonna get so excessively dirty and it's so clean right now. I'm gonna see about maybe just going down the hill and back up like a uh, actual street. So that'll give the battery a little bit more of a range test. We basically just went down that large section of the hill and now I put on a path here. It's gonna like wind and weave us through the hills again. So this is gonna be a huge elevation gain yet again. Looks like we're gonna go up and back down a little bit along the way to get to grip the park. I mean, no, I messed up. This looks like it could be the stairs they're talking about. Now this bike can ride these, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I just wouldn't want to risk getting a pinch flat this far away from home. Oh, oh yeah, these are getting pretty steep. I, <laughs> dang it. Need a little downforce down here. Yeah. Leaning my body on the bike to get some traction on the back tire. Whew. Who says you can't get a workout on a Sur Run? Uh, there's the Hollywood sign now. So you can see we kind of came down in elevation quite a bit. Dude, the directions are so confusing over here. I am really enjoying the extra range this bike gives me. Like, this is awesome. Just like kind of being out here in like the Hollywood Hills. Dang, this thing still has really good power at 69%. Basically feels like a fully charged 60 volt battery at least. I mean, I didn't even turn the throttle all the way because I'm so far away from home right now. I would hate to just like break something. Oh, this one's for sale. Wonder what the list price would be. Here's our first glimpses of a more up close view of Griffith Park Observatory here to our right. Ah, uh, I'm really liking this bicycle right now. Yeah, this battery is just absolutely eating this hill for lunch this time after its breakfast snack of the Hollywood Hill. Off to the right here, we can see the Hollywood sign off in the distance where we just were. So Griffith Park is over here. Authorized vehicles only. Not really sure if I'm gonna get in trouble if I like try and like ride this thing kind of over here and just poke my head around a little bit. 
A little bit nervous. We'll see if anybody says anything. Park Ranger's right behind me. So we're at 62%, 75.9 volts after that climb, bringing our total elevation, well, not our elevation gain, bringing our total distance down to 25 miles. Average speed is just shy of 15 miles an hour. Let's push our luck a little bit and try and go past this security guard guy over here. See if he says anything. All good. Downtown Los Angeles, Beverly Hills is over that way. Dude, I just love like the places you can take the Saran, ride it appropriately and don't go crazy. So that dude was just asking about the Saran. Well, the time has come to start heading home. It's recommending I take Interstate 405 um, Dude, Hollywood is such a dump. Look at this guy's lawnmower, this bike, wheels, generators. I feel like we could take the highway, really. Might be the fastest route. Hey, it's the stars again. I'm gonna hit these guys up for a water. This is way cheaper than the water at SoFi Stadium. I am down to 59, 57% battery here in the heart of Hollywood. Yeah, it's electric. I like it because you can take it like anywhere, man. I just took it out to like the Hollywood sign in Griffith Park. <laughs> Thank you, I like that too. How do you like it? Good, I love the 73s. Man. Yeah. I wish I had some suspension. What are those? Uh, Sir Sir Ron. Ron, yeah. So we are at 48% battery and this thing is still ripping. Check out the rolls. What else would you expect going through Beverly Hills? Still feels pretty strong, but I can tell the battery is wearing down. That's just what happens with batteries. The voltage drops and you start to lose power. Finally made it back to the neighborhood. We are at 26% battery life, which is 69.1 volts. Um, I'm just gonna give it a rip wide open throttle here and see what it can still do. Oh, shoot. I feel like the belt like slipped or something. There's like a hiccup there. That was weird. So yeah, I got up to like 50. I don't know what the heck just happened there. It was like a huge stutter. Like, threw me forward. So I'm not really sure what happened there. It might be because I have my phase amp set too high up at 430. I might need to drop it down to like 400. If anybody has any ideas why the power might be cutting out on me under full acceleration when the battery is a bit low, please let me know down below in the comments. So 44 miles, average speed 15.83. Uh, two hours and 49 minutes of riding time. I've been out here all day on this thing. 44 miles, huge route i will compare this stuff up saying 25 percent battery 69.1 volts so another pull dang it's doing it again maybe some sort of like cutoff or something that was really weird although after letting it sit for a little bit the percentage actually went up to 38 voltage is stabilized to 69.2 volts Taking a look at the final numbers, obviously the 72 volt 38 amp hour battery significantly outperformed the stock 60 volt 32 amp hour battery. Also while looking at these numbers, keep in mind the 60 volt stock battery was down to about 13% when I was done with this trip and basically dead. As compared to my upgraded battery, it still had plenty of juice left in it. The battery voltage was at 69 volts and it could drop down to about 60 volts until it's completely dead. So it still had like a solid like 30, 35% left in the tank. Also on the second trip with the 72 volt battery, we did substantially more elevation climbing. It was actually about 50% more elevation climbing since it was about 3,100 feet versus 2,200 feet. And obviously we were going at faster speeds in general on the 72 volt battery in order to cover an additional eight miles and basically the same amount of moving time for trips. 
On top of that, we did hit a max speed of about 50 miles an hour on the 72 volt battery compared to only 38 miles per hour on the stock battery. One other thing to take note of, it was actually a little bit warmer on the day that we did the 72 volt battery test as well. The temperature was 77 degrees Fahrenheit versus about 67 Fahrenheit on the stock battery. And this was basically all street riding. I will be doing off-road testing with this battery as well. If you are interested in purchasing a Saron battery upgrade, please check the link below this video. There may be a discount code available for you, and if you did buy through any of my links down below, it would help support Juice Joy Rides at no additional cost to you, and I would greatly appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in my next one.